Welcome to our Hard Questions uh, panel. And I'm the moderator for pastors. We take your hard questions and bring them to the pastors and let them answer them right out of the Bible. Uh, on today's panel are... Dr. William R. Glaze, Bethany Baptist Church in Pittsburgh. Chris Gibbs, pastor of Crossway Community Church in the Mars area. Pete Giacalone from the Rainbow oh, Temple oh. Assembly God Church, McKeesport, Pennsylvania. <laughs> J. Anthony Gilbert, Kingdom Restoration Christian Center, Mount Washington. Well, you know, Ohio State is the, the that's what the they say. And they're going to be running into the, uh, the, uh, the Nittany Lions of Penn State Whoa, coming baby. up. So we got to say, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> it be some football played over on, I think it's Saturday, on, on Saturday. There's a little bit of football being played in, in the NFL too. But what is the question for today? This is, you know, you've got to, it seems broad, but it's very, very specific. Pastors, when you hear the word abundant life, what does that mean? What is abundant life? Well, you know, when, when I look at uh, Jesus' message, you know, Jesus never preached the gospel. You know, we don't hear about the gospel till after, you know, he died and rose again. Mm -hmm. What did Jesus preach? He preached the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. And Paul said in Romans chapter 14 and verse 17, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. And so abundant life to me is a life of righteousness, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. And to think Jesus said, it's the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Amen. Mm. Amen. Right. Yeah, I, I was actually doing the, uh, you know, the extraordinary thing of being the last one, because I don't usually do that. <laughs> um, but, you know, when I look at this abundant life, I have, I, you know, I have a different question that goes kind of with this, because you would think that it's pretty self-explanatory because, you know, abundant life, we're promised it. But a lot of times Christians will ask, what is abundant life? And my question is, why do Christians ask what it is? And the reason Christians ask what it is is because it's foreign to us and we're not living it. The word abundant in John 10:10, 10, 10, when it talks about right. abundantly, that word is a word in the Greek that means superior. It means better than everything else. It's super abundant. It's beyond what is normal. And here's the thing that I'm thinking in Galatians 5.22, when it tells us what the fruit of the spirit is, that's abundant life right there. Because it says at the end of that, against such things, there is no law. There should never be a time when you are not living and operating in the fullness of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Okay. Never a time. So if you're somebody that's kind of struggling with something, you know, on and on and on, I'm telling you, there is freedom that we can get out of the cyclical mess that we find ourselves in. That's abundant life. Wow. Man, you were ready for that question. <laughs> That's why I was waiting until the end so Pastor Jesse could get a word. You have exercised that question, brother. We need brother. a poem and a song and we're done. <laughs> that, is, that, that, that is a very strong answer, brother. Amen. Amen. Now well, it's your turn. <laughs> yeah, let's see if I can follow up with something we're saying, you know. Uh, we, I think abundant life, too, is it's the blessing. It's the blessing of God. Uh, and the blessing yeah. is translated, the empowerment for success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I believe the abundant life isn't just, uh, a, a, along with the fruit of the spirit, mm. but it's in every area of your life. It's the product of being vitally connected in right. union with the father, which is the result of living the kingdom. Yeah, exactly. And so when we start living the kingdom, we start seeing the blessing, the empowerment for success in every area of our lives. So God doesn't want you just to have some success. He wants you to have abundant success in every area of your world. Well, wouldn't, wouldn't you be able to, is it fair to say if you're walking in that type of a life that mm -hmm. people would recognize it, Pastor, Pastor Glaze? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you stand out in the crowd? Oh, definitely. Because, you know, today, you know, it seems like everything is against that. Mm -hmm. And so if you, if you're living a life where, you know, and, 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 and you're able to take that and it manifests itself in difficult times, because we see that when people hit hard times, you know, uh, I mean, it's good to have the abundant life when mm -hmm. nothing's wrong. I mean, we can have abundant life, but the abundant life really is manifested when, when we run into the hardships of life. And I think, you know, to your answer to your question, that's what we are seeing. People hit hard times and then, you know, what's in them comes out. But yeah. if you have that abundant life in you, when the hard times okay. come, that's going to come Look out. at this. Because when you are truly living abundant life and you are truly living worship, it's going to get attention in the heavenlies. And that can be positive and negative because you look at Job. Job sure. got attention in the heavenlies. Mm -hmm. Have you considered my servant Job? He obviously had been considered by Satan because he had an immediate answer. And then he attacked everything that he thought would keep 
Job from worshiping. And all Job did there is you read that he sat there and heard all of these things. And only when his children were mentioned did he actually get up. And then he got down on the floor and it says, then Job arose, tore his clothes, shaved his head, fell on the ground and worshiped. That is abundant life. Amen. When you can face hell and high water and know that God is still on a throne. Well, he's and, fired and up the, today, man. Yeah. And to <laughs> go along with what Chris is saying, where, where Paul says, whatever state I'm in, I've learned to be content. Whether I have or don't have my contentment's in him. What I did is I have six pages uh -oh. of scriptures that if anybody wants to call in, it's all typed up of abundant life. Well, there you go. Call, call us and we'll give you Pete's notes because that's good. We'll give you a copy of Pete's notes. Call the number on the screen and uh, they're yours or There's maybe six pages we'll put them there. on the website too for, your, for your maybe down them off ctvn.org. Well, see, the thing about abundant life, that, the reason I asked that question to you, doctor, is because we speak it but we don't necessarily live it, right. Yeah, right. you know? You and so you got we, if you can't tell us from those who are not saved, Pastor Jay, then we're not walking in an abundant life. There ought to be Amen. some some kind of difference mm -hmm. that you be. can see. Well, as a matter of fact, I was gonna to say too that it talks about uh, in Matthew 5, blessed are you when men will say all manner of evil against you and persecute mm -hmm. you. So that lets me know sometimes the blessing and the abundant life will come from haters haters that hating on That's your right. life oh, will be the yeah. result of oh, the abundant yeah. life as well. That's okay. Uh, that, you know, the thing too is, the thing too is abundant life, we want to put it in a box and we want to say it's this life on this earth. Well, we certainly want to live an abundant life on this earth. We have an abundant life that's coming at us in the next oh, yeah. world oh, amen. too. Amen. So w w it's not just for now, it's for now and it's then forever. So what we've learning to experience with God and learning to walk in victory of is for now and forever. And that's what I find a, a wonderful about the promise of abundant life that Jesus said, it's countered to the thief. Countered to the thief. You know, thief comes to steal, right. kill, destroy, but I've come, that you might you'd have, have life. life and have it more abundantly. That's mm -hmm. Jesus' counter to the thief. Well, so uh, we're being stolen from. we got to get on the other side of the equation and get on God's Amen. abundant life train and watch what, he, what, watch what He does in our lives. Call us, 888-665-443. Love to minister with you about that or to take your question. If you've got a question, the pastors are ready to answer those questions. Or you can go to our website, ctvn.org, and you can uh, you give us our, your question. Your pastor, thank you. Always a blessing. I don't know what you had for breakfast. But <laughs> I was listening to a sermon of Pastor Jay before coming in oh, here today. My, this my, man my. got me fired up. Pass that sermon around, brother. Hey. And we'll be right back.